But I have taken the journey of journeys for me mm -hmm. up Calvary's mountain, there my Savior to see. I've been to Calvary, I can say I've seen the Lord. I've been to Calvary through the witness of his word. Each day at Calvary, mm -hmm. what a thrill of love divine just to know that my Savior is mine. I walked a Calvary road mm -hmm. where Jesus stood. I saw him hanging there, All right. the Son of God. With tear-stained eyes, mm -hmm. I felt in shame. Jesus here my plea, oh, praise the Lord, I'm glad I've been to Calvary. I've been to Calvary, I can say I've seen the Lord, mm. I've been to Calvary. Through the witness of God's word, yes. each day at Calvary, mm. what a thrill of love divine, All right. just to know that my Savior is mine. Mm. <laughs> My goodness. All right. Mm -hmm. Been to Calvary, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. You All betcha. right. Well, praise the Lord. Amen. And thank God for being here oh, another wow. day oh, yeah. with Brother another Douglas day. Downs right. and talking about Calvary. Yeah. And so oh, we're going to open yeah. up with prayer yeah. and see where the Lord is going to take us in the scriptures today. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, thanking you for another day, Lord God, for having us with our right minds, Lord God, activities and the use of our limbs, our hands, Lord God, and arms, Lord mm -hmm. God, we can move our, our neck from side to side, Lord God, mm -hmm. get up out of our chairs and sit back down, walk from place to place, Lord God. And there today is somebody that is not able to do that. Mm -hmm. And so, Lord God, even though, some of us may be in pain. Lord God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus yes, that they would just give you praise anyway. Mm -hmm. Thanking you for whatever health and strength that they have, Lord God. There mm -hmm. are many backsliders, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. And there are many who have been hurt and wounded in church. But Lord God, you've never, ever hurt us, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. We may not understand the things that happens. Mm -hmm. We may not agree with every decision that you have made, Lord mm -hmm. God, in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. Mm -hmm. But Lord God, let us be mindful to give you praise at all times. Amen. Thank you, Lord God, for bringing Brother Doug here today and for singing his song. And Lord God, for anybody that is going to hear and view this video. I pray today, Lord God, that your anointing will be upon us and that your words will sink deep within our souls, that souls will be saved, Lord God. Whoever the watchman is, Lord God, let yeah, him Lord. or her be on their mm -hmm. duty so that the enemy will not come in to rob, mm -hmm. to kill, to hurt, to steal, whatever. Mm -hmm. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm thanking and praising God for another day that yeah. he's allowed us to be together. And I know that um, uh, previously we've had, I've um, been teaching several different <coughs> Bible studies 
Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of them have kind of melded together because that's mm -hmm. how scripture is. You might start talking about one thing yeah. and then God kind of branches it off mm -hmm. and lets you remind the people of more things that is in his word. Yeah. And so today, uh, on yesterday rather, the Lord had me to revisit the jealousy um, scripture, mm -hmm. scriptures that I was talking about. But before I do that, I want to remind people of something that the Lord said in his word. And, I, and, and believe it or not, I don't think that people um, understand mm -hmm. what the word rebellion truly is. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just going to read the scripture and see what the Lord take us on that one. But I, this is just a scripture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's in 1 Samuel chapter 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in First Samuel chapter fifteen, I'm going to give you a little bit of the history here. Saul, and I'm not talking about the Apostle mm -hmm. Paul, that Saul of mm -hmm. Tarsus. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the king of Israel, the first king that they had, and mm -hmm. Saul was given one thing to do when we're talking about here in chapter 15 of 1 Samuel. In chapter 15 of 1 Samuel, the Lord told Samuel to tell Saul, you've been anointed as king over his people, over God's, God's people, Israel. And so he told him to go to Amalek uh -huh. and utterly destroy everyone and everything in Amalek. Okay? That's the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. So get rid of it. This is this this is this is what mm -hmm. the Lord told him. So when you start reading the book, the 15th chapter of 1 Samuel, mm -hmm. yes, this is uh is it's, it's war. Mm -hmm. But there was a reason behind it. Now I'm not gonna get into that, but whatever mm -hmm. it, it, the, the reasoning behind Amalek destruction was already planned by God. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so Saul went there and he he started he started killing the Amaleks, the mm -hmm. Amalekites rather. Um, he started doing what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. But then there came a little problem there mm -hmm. because he decided that and the people the, the warriors that was with him. Now, this is war. This is not just murder. Now, this is war. Oh, yeah. But in verse 15, and Saul and the people spared Agag. And Agag was the king of the Amalekites. Mm -hmm. All right. And then he said that they decided that they was going to keep the best of the sheep and of the oxen, of the mm -hmm. fatlings mm -hmm. and the lambs and all that was good and would not utterly destroy them. But everything that was vile and refused, they would utterly destroy it. So anything that they felt mm -hmm. was of, of good quality, mm -hmm. and you know that they there's kept. some good quality, oh, yeah. and they decided to keep it. Mm -hmm. Now, let me go back, okay? Let me go yeah. back so yeah. that we, we remember what the Lord said. 1 Samuel chapter 15, um, verse 3, Now go and smite Amalek. <laughs> And utterly destroy all that they have. All uh -huh. means all. Okay? Uh -huh. And spare them not. Yeah. Okay? That's what the Lord told Samuel to tell Saul. Yeah. But Saul and the people decided, we're going to keep the good stuff. Oh, yeah. Especially when it came to the sheep and the oxen. Uh -huh. Because they figured that we'll get up. Mm -hmm. We'll take it back and we'll sacrifice it uh -huh. to our God. Yeah. But see, God told them to destroy it. Yeah. Yeah. And so when they get there, they get back home and they getting ready to sacrifice the, the stuff to the, um, to the Lord. Samuel mm -hmm. says, you know, what is this that I hear here? Mm -hmm. You know, he says here in verse uh, 22, mm -hmm. have the Lord as great delight in burnt offers and sacrifices. Mm -hmm. As in obeying the voice of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So what is he saying? He's saying, does, you mean to tell me 
Now, the Lord would mm -hmm. rather you sacrifice and burn your offerings and stuff like that, mm -hmm. but disobey me. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And so here, now this is 22. He says, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, sacrifice yeah. and to hearken than the fat of rams. Yeah, so, rams now, you yeah. know, back in the Old Testament days, Oh, well, they enjoyed themselves when it came to sacrifices and whatnot sure. like that. Why because, not? I mean, the rich would have a whole lot and the best of the best. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, they would they, they could do all this good sacrificing, right? Mm -hmm. And then the poor, they didn't have those big fatty <laughs> calves and rams and lambs and stuff. <laughs> Sometimes all they had was a turtle dove yeah. or a pigeon. Mm -hmm. And that was it. Yeah. But if it it, it, it it begins with your attitude mm -hmm. and what you have that you're willing to give to the Lord. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And so here, if your sacrifice mm -hmm. is because of your disobedience, the Lord doesn't want that. Mm -hmm. The Lord wants you to obey him. Oh, yeah. So there are some people that figure that it's okay for me to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Even though I believe the Lord has told me not to do this, mm -hmm. and and they're quick to turn their ear, you know, like like you, brother Doug, you have a hearing aid. Yeah. If you disconnect the battery, you're not going to hear anything, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah. But as long as you got that connection going, you're going to mm -hmm. hear. Mm -hmm. Well, in our spirit, God speaks to us in our spirits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, He does. And He and 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 trust me, we know the the, the voice of God. Even though we are living a life that is not pleasing to God, mm -hmm. once the Lord starts speaking to us, yeah. we know that voice because he's not going to tell us to do something oh. that is wrong. No. Okay? No. So then when we get to verse 23 here in 1 Samuel chapter 23, mm -hmm. Samuel is telling Saul, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. witchcraft. Uh -huh. And stubbornness as iniquity and idolatry. Mm -hmm. When you now, that, what is that? Iniquity and idolatry. idolatry. He's telling you that that's sin. Uh -huh. He's telling you that. I mean, it's, it's so plain. Mm -hmm. It's so plain as God is just opening up that that, oh, that yeah. thing to him. And yeah. then he went on to say, "Because thou has rejected the word of the Lord, mm -hmm. he have also rejected thee from being king." Oh yeah. You see. Now, the people, they decided, they decided, but if he's the king, yeah. he should have said, no, the Lord says destroy all. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the thing, and, and, and to me, if the Lord wants you to make a sacrifice, he will give it to you what he wants you to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If you remember Abra, Abraham and Isaac. That sacrifice his son. That's right. Mm -hmm. God told Abraham mm -hmm. to take your son, Isaac, and sacrifice him unto mm -hmm. me. Yeah. He'll tell you where to go. Uh -huh. And he's already told him what to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so Abraham, in obedience, mm -hmm. took his son, took the wood, had the fire, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. off they tried it to the place where the Lord wanted him to sacrifice. Well, can you just imagine though, when Abraham's son said, well, where's our offering? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, yeah. indeed. Can you imagine how that just broke his heart? Broke him up. Uh -huh. Broke him up. Yeah. But he mm -hmm. obeyed. Mm -hmm. He obeyed God. Yeah. And when he got to the place where God wanted him mm -hmm. to sacrifice his son, mm -hmm. he did everything proper. Laid yeah. the wood out. Yeah. Bound his son. Put him on the altar. Uh -huh. Got mm -hmm. his knife and raised it up. Yeah. He didn't argue back with the Lord at that time. He just yeah. raised it up and was yeah. going to, and the angel of the Lord said, don't do it. Yeah. Don't but do here it. Saul <laughs> disobeyed God. Mm -hmm. God could have given him, Saul and the people, a sacrifice just like he gave Abraham. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Abraham, out of obedience, not only did he receive another sacrifice, but his son stayed alive. Oh, yeah. He did not have to sacrifice his son. Mm -hmm. But all in essence, he had already did it. Mm -hmm. He had closed his eyes and his mind and his heart to the fact that mm -hmm. this is what the Lord told me to do. And I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. The Lord had told Saul what to do and he chose not to do it. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So in verse 15, I mean 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, witchcraft. Uh -huh. and stubbornness as iniquity uh -huh. and idolatry. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he hath also rejected thee mm -hmm. from being king. Oh, yeah. Then Saul decides he's going to repent. Oh, yeah. And he said, I have sinned, for I have transgressed the commandment of the Lord mm -hmm. and thy words, because I feared the people and obeyed their voice. Uh, see, poor, hey, yeah. see, this is the thing. When the Lord has told you to do something, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what everybody else is saying. Mm -hmm. No. He expects you to do what he tells you mm -hmm. to do. What he commands. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so here, this man is the king. Yeah. And yeah. he said that he, what he said, I feared the people and obeyed their yeah, voice. Yeah, he obeyed the people. Yeah, he obeyed the people. And that is wrong. Yeah, well, of course. I want to read this. <laughs> I wanted to read this. Let's see. For rebellion in, in, in NIV. Yeah, in is like the sin of divination and arrogance like the evil of idolatry. Because you have rejected the word of the Lord, he has rejected you as the king. You see, when you disobey the Lord, you're asking for trouble. Well, sure. You're asking for trouble. And there and you cannot see the thing of it is is that Saul decided that he was going to blame the people. But oh, yeah. he was the king. Mm -hmm. He was the one that was told what to do. Mm -hmm. He is the one that is to give the orders. Yeah. Now, when you look at yourself in the mirror, and when you see yourself as to who you are in Christ, or mm -hmm. see who you are in your flesh, if yeah. you obey your flesh more than you obey the Lord, then you <laughs> weaken. Yeah. You're mm -hmm. very weak. And of course, you might just go ahead on and start doing the things that your flesh tells you to do. Yeah. And blame somebody else for it. You no, know, if the Lord wanted me to do that, mm -hmm. He would have stopped me. If he right. Wanted me to do it. If He wanted you, right. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. But the Lord says that I want you to live a life that is holy and acceptable yeah. unto me. Unto mm -hmm. See, just like when we go back in Chronicles, when we start, when, you know, a lot of people was dealing with um, Jabez, and they was like, ooh, oh, yeah. this, this prayer of yeah. Jabez, and they was just. Jumping on the bandwagon with the prayer of Jabez. Mm -hmm. The thing that people need to realize is that Jabez was more honorable. Yeah. So that means uh -huh. that if you're going to be an individual that can go up before the Lord and say, Lord, I want you to enlarge my borders. I want you to give me the things <laughs> that I'm asking you for. I don't want to be grievous about it. I don't, yeah. want, to ha I don't want to suffer for it. I want you to give it to me. Yeah. And and. When the Lord blesses you with it, you will be a you will be a good steward of it. Oh yeah, that's just like um, an individual that they say, "Oh, I, we have a good church, mm -hmm. we have a good pastor, we have a wonderful choir." Mm -hmm. You know, you got all these wonderful things that you have, mm -hmm. but then you're the type of person that don't want to participate. You yeah. want to be a spectator. Yeah, no, not a being, being a child of God is not a spectator's event. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You must, according to the word of God, be born again. Mm -hmm. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. And you can't rebel against the Lord when he tells you to do something. Mm -hmm. A lot of times the Lord mm -hmm. tells you to repent of something. And you don't repent of it. Well, if you you kind of, yeah. yeah, you want to take your, your proverbial groom uh -huh. and yeah. sweep it up underneath mm -hmm. the carpet and then smooth mm -hmm. the carpet over it. That's not going to get rid of the sin. <laughs> That's not going to get rid of it. No. And so then, um, you, um, I, I love to go back and forth into the scriptures because I like for individuals to know that a lot of things that are being said here at House of Faith is not because we scratch it on the top of our head and trying to give you what mm -hmm. thus saith Robin or what thus saith Lamar. <laughs> it is what thus saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And if you allow the people to hear it from the word of God, they can't have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. Okay? Can't have a problem with it. So, I wanted to go back again. That was just a little, little taste about rebellion that I wanted to give to you all today. Um... Because um, a lot of times you put yourself in situations 
that um, allow you to get spanked by the Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? When you know that it is right to live better than what you're living, not coveting and envying and whatnot. Yeah. And that is yeah. where we're going into the lesson today. Because I want to revisit again the jealousy uh, Bible study that I started. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people, they, I'll just, go, I'll talk for myself. Mm -hmm. When I was young, a young teenager growing up in the church, my foster mother, Mother Shivers, was, you know, I was her driver. So, of course, mm -hmm. I drove her back and forth to church or, yeah. you know, various things like that. And being a young, a young Christian, I didn't understand <clears throat> that I had a jewel. I had the mm -hmm. best pearl or the best diamond mm -hmm. in that woman of mm -hmm. God. And, and I didn't understand it and I didn't know it. And so because I was still angry at my past, oh. I wasn't able to get past my past. But I was still trying to be a Christian, but I, I was still um, coming up and knocking my head up against the wall mm -hmm. because I did not understand. And because of her love and her guidance, I started to understand. Mm -hmm. I used to get, I won't say jealous, but I used to get aggravated oh, yeah. because she was, she was our singer in the yeah. church. Beautiful voice, beautiful voice. A wonderful exhorter. Mm -hmm. But I didn't understand that the reason she did what she did in the church was because she was sold out to God. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand that. Yeah. I understand mm -hmm. it now. Yeah. Because I remember I would ask her, Mother Shivers, why do you have to be the one to do it? Why do you have to be the one to sing all the time? Why do we have, you know, like when it came to cleaning the church, it was like, well, you know, Mother Shivers says she's going down to clean the church. Yeah. That meant that Mother Shivers and her driver was going down to clean the church. Yeah. You know, and that meant that I had to clean the church. I had to help clean the church. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> but she was grooming me uh -huh. to be a better steward mm -hmm. of the gift that God was placing and had mm -hmm. placed in me. It yeah. had not manifested itself as of yet to, to, the, to the point where I have the knowledge now. Mm -hmm. I am not too good to clean the church. Mm -hmm. I am not too good to go in there and clean that bathroom. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. To take the trash out. Mm -hmm. Because that is how she taught me. Mm -hmm. if, if there's a, a saint that is sick and can't clean their house, mm -hmm. and they ask me, could I help them clean their house? Yeah. I'm not too good that I can't go and do it. <laughs> right. I mean, it was the things that she was teaching me that I didn't understand, that I was kind of resentful of it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't rebel against her, but I was angry and aggravated that she had the nerve to ask me to go do these things. I know. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So, it wasn't a jealousy per se, but it was kind of a, you know, a why in my, in yeah, my why soul. Why am I doing this? Exactly. Yeah. Now, yes, she was down there working too. Now, don't get me wrong. She was yeah. down there working too. But then she ruled the house. And if she said, go down and do, mm. all I had to do was get up and go down and do. Yeah. Now, you got a lot of young people who were brought up in the church mm -hmm. who are now very angry at God because of the way that they were raised. Yeah. Oh, okay? yeah. It was all God's fault. It's God's fault. It's not God's fault. No. You ought to thank God that you had somebody that was willing to take you to church. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I, I know that a lot of young people, mm -hmm. they would, they would, you know, like in, in, in one of the churches, they had, they studied their Bibles and we mm -hmm. prayed and we sung on the choir. And I mean, we did a lot. Yes, we as young people, we did it because the older people knew that if we go out there in the world, mm -hmm. we were going to be tempted with drinking, smoking, uh, uh, and various other things that pleases mm -hmm. the flesh. Oh, yeah. Okay? It mm -hmm. pleased the flesh. Therefore, we were willing to go out there and do it. <laughs> we weren't willing to go and help clean up the church. <laughs> what do you mean? On Sunday afternoon when the ball game is going on, you want me to be in church? 
Sunday night when the skating rink is open, you want me to be in church? Come on. And then you want me to study the Bible? You want me to be able to quote the 23rd Psalms and not have a problem with it? Okay, wait a minute. Now, here's here's one. It's, I think it's the... Uh, Wait a minute, here, here, wait a minute, I think it's the 27th Psalm. That was another one. Yeah, the Lord is my light and my salvation. salvation. <laughs> and then got a nerve to ask a question. The, whom shall I fear? You know, you, you want me to study this? Why do you want me to study this? <laughs> so, of course, we had problems with this thing. But God knew that because we were obedient to our, our church family, and did the things that we did, mm -hmm. we weren't harmed out there in that world. Mm -hmm. We were envious and jealous of the ones that was able to go out there and do the things they were doing. Oh, I, I was the young woman that all I wanted to do, I wanted to go to the prom. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go to my junior prom and my senior prom. Well, guess what? Mm -hmm. My foster mother said no. Oh. So where was I at? I was at the red and white grocery store slinging groceries, working. And then my friends, well, they weren't really my friends because I didn't have close relationship with them yeah. because I never went to, you know, mingle with them. But my classmates and stuff coming in with their gowns and their tuxedos and stuff like that, and they're looking at me all funny. Why? Because here I am working and they are going out to the prom, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. But when a person is jealous mm -hmm. of what God is doing in somebody else's life, yeah. they are sinning and transgressing against themselves. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. Now, I, 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 um, the last time we did this, I says intolerant or unwilling to. Okay? When you're jealous, you don't want to give way to that other person. You want to take and keep. Uh -huh. Take and keep. All right. Yeah. Um, I know that a lot of people have, um, know the word um, when somebody says they have a jealous streak in them. Mm -hmm. That means that they're going to look at what it is that they think that they have. Well, that's what they want. That's right. But they don't know and, how to get it. And they were going to somehow or another, they're going to warn them into it. And that brings yeah. us to the covetousness. Mm -hmm. When you covet something, that means you want that thing. Oh, yeah. And you don't care how you get it. <laughs> Same thing with the word of God. You got mm. some people that all they are are spiritual parasites. Mm -hmm. They want what you have in God, mm -hmm. but they don't want the God <laughs> of the thing that you have. Mm -hmm. See, you're going to have to be accountable for everything you do in God. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. As well as what you do between yeah. your ears. You're going to be, you're going to have to be accountable to what you think, yeah. what you speak, mm -hmm. what you put your hands on and where your feet go, yeah. what your heart starts longing for, uh -huh. <laughs> because you're going to have to give an account for it because if it does not please God, then it is of sin. It is of mm -hmm. the flesh, mm -hmm. okay? And so a lot of times when people get to the point where they have what they think that they're supposed to have, yeah. Like a husband is jealous over his wife. The wife is jealous over the husband. <laughs> the, the, the wife or the man is jealous over the fact that that guy over there has got a better car than me, so I got to get me a better car or, you know, whatever. Or I'm going to tear up their stuff yeah. just so that I can have something better than them. You can't do that because it leads to a life of sin. Okay? So I decided that I wanted to talk to you a, a little bit about how that even the Lord is jealous over his people. Why? Because mm -hmm. he doesn't want Satan to have his people. No. He doesn't not. want that. Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I come to this scripture. It's the 79th division of Psalms. Psalm 79. Mm -hmm. And it is verse 5. And, and, and Asaph is asking this question here. He says, How long, Lord, will thou be angry forever? Mm -hmm. Shall thy jealousy burn <laughs> like fire? Mm -hmm. And and see, and the first thing he's he's talking about is the heathen. Mm -hmm. He says here in, in chapter in verse one, Oh God, the heathen are coming to thine inheritance. 
thy holy temple have they defiled. They have laid Jerusalem to heaps. So here, you know, the, the, the psalmist is talking about how that, you know, Jerusalem, your chosen people mm -hmm. have been captured again. Mm -hmm. And now they're in sorrow because mm -hmm. they can't go to Jerusalem and go to the temple and worship mm -hmm. like they used to worship, yeah. Lord. Yeah. And instead of them or the people saying, you know what? Hmm. If we had a stayed obedient to God, yes, and there you go, and stop mm -hmm. coveting after the world, yeah. we wouldn't be in this situation. But no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. They don't see it that way. It's God, you take me as I am or else. Yeah. And God says, well, all right, then we're going to see about this or else. Huh. But the, the thing is, Lord, how long do you want your people to suffer? And, and see, the writer should have said, yeah, Lord, I know that they sinned against you. I, I know that. But, Lord, I, don't you think they suffered enough? And sometimes some people need to be whipped on a on a day-by-day on a mm -hmm. -day basis before they finally get the epiphany that, you know what, if I stop doing this, then I'll stop getting a whipping. That's just like your mother and your father. Oh, yeah. Eventually, they're going to say, you know what, I'm just going to have to tear you up a little bit and see if you're going to start obeying. Yeah. If I tell you to do something and you don't do it, and I find out about it, I'm going to tear you up. Oh, yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. We have got people that walk into churches with that nasty, jealous streak. Oh, yeah. But see, God is, you know, even... During the Old Testament time, even the ungodly, mm -hmm. the the people that he didn't consider as his, you know, the Jewish people, the Hebrews, the Israelites, even those individuals who they called um, Gentiles or barbarians. Yeah, okay? the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He called them heathens. Mm -hmm. Even those individuals realized, you know, you Jews, y'all got something going there for yourself. You mm -hmm. Hebrews, you Israelites, y'all got something. You've got a God mm -hmm. that fights your battle. Mm -hmm. You've got a God that even though he allowed us to conquer you, we can't destroy you. Mm -hmm. Even though we've tried to destroy you, we can't destroy you. Your God will not allow it. And you know, some of them decided, I'm going to serve that God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to mm -hmm. serve that God. Yeah. And that's what happened. So here this scripture says, how long, Lord, uh -huh. will you be angry forever? Are you going to be angry mm -hmm. forever, Lord, at us? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, we've done the wrong thing. Don't be angry at us forever. Mm -hmm. But see, it causes you to repent when you start getting a whipping. Mm -hmm. When you start getting that spanking, it causes you to start repenting. For whom the Lord loves, he chases. He's going to chase him. And how he chases him. B times. That means till you get over the day you and know. you stop. And and some people mm -hmm. won't stop. They won't stop it until, mm -hmm. until they get ready to. God is almost about to let them go ahead mm -hmm. on. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to let you turn on over to a reprobate mind. Yeah. Exactly. Obedience is better than sacrifice, well, is what the scripture that's says. Exactly. Yeah. Obedience. And to obey the will of the mm -hmm. Lord is better. Okay? Yeah. And so here we need to do the same identical thing. Lord, I know I haven't done right in the past, mm -hmm. but I have my right now moment. Lord, I want my right now moment to be a repenting moment. Mm -hmm. I want my right now moment to say, I am sorry for what I did then. Mm -hmm. Change me and equip me with your Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. so that I don't continue to do the things I did then. Yeah. I want to be saved. I want to be holy. I want to be righteous. Yeah. And as long as I have this flesh, Lord, remind me to repent when it starts getting out of character with you. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. So, jealousy. Oh, jealousy. <laughs> Listen mm -hmm. to this thing right here. It's like leprosy. It eats you away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It eats away. Mm -hmm. the, it was uh, four words. It's a lifestyle. This is what I put down. Covetousness, envy, suspicious, and distrustful. Uh -huh. 
That's a lifestyle. You're the type of person that you envy. I maybe, maybe <laughs> I envied her. Yeah. Or I envied him because they had such and such. Yeah. But when you're the type of person that is suspicious all the time, <laughs> you're the type of person that don't trust. Yeah. Oh, you have you have issues. You have mm -hmm. some serious issues. Okay, <laughs> you have. I, I, I'm serious. You have some mm -hmm. serious issues, and the Lord needs. You. This is something too. No, oh. if it's in your heart, that means that you need to start working on your heart. Mm -hmm. Listen to what Jeremiah 17 says about the heart. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 17 says this, and it's verse nine. The heart is deceitful above all, all things. things. Who can know it? And desperately wicked, too. Yeah. And then he says, who can know it? Who can know your heart? You know mm -hmm. your own heart. Mm -hmm. Go, although the Lord said he tried to raise. The, when, when, first of all, before he said that, he says, I, the Lord, search the heart. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways, and according to the fruit of his doing. Mm -hmm. What kind of fruit are you sprouting in your life? Mm -hmm. Okay, think about that. Yeah. If you are an apple tree, you should not be sprouting peaches and figs. <laughs> okay? Yeah. yeah. If you are a sweet potato plant, you should not be sprouting artichokes, strawberries, and blueberries. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. But you know, man is so funny. Man decided that, you know what? I'm going to graft this type of an apple mm -hmm. onto this type of an apple tree and mm -hmm. see what happens. Yeah. If, it, if, if that branch, and, and see, and that's what we are. We have that wild olive branch that God mm -hmm. grafted in. Grafted them. That's right. That, mm -hmm. and, and, and man has decided to do that. So yes, some trees that has been altered by man mm -hmm. can sprout different type of fruit because of the mm -hmm. grafting. Mm -hmm. If we allow the Lord to truly cut us from our sin, mm -hmm. okay, and, and, and place us in a place where we can get that holy nourishing, mm -hmm. that the scriptures bubbling up into our souls, mm -hmm. we will be very much better. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. So, now that was just a little little trip there. <laughs> the heart is desperate. The, is when and above all go. things. The yes. can know it. The, the heart yeah. is deceitful. See, I always mm -hmm. miss that. The heart yeah. is deceitful above all, all things. things. Yeah. And desperately wicked. And then it says, and mm -hmm. desperately wicked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who can know it? You, you know your heart. You know who you are. You know what mm -hmm. you are. And so you're going to have to deal with it. All right. Yeah, exactly. Listen to what Jeremiah 22 says in verse 13. This is a good one here too. Woe unto him that builds his house by unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. If you're envying somebody. Yeah. If you're jealous of somebody. Oh yeah. If you're cutting somebody down, backbiting and murdering them with your mouth. Yeah. You are building your house by unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. And his chambers by wrong. If you are a liar or a thief, mm -hmm. you're not right, you're wrong, yeah. okay? Yeah. That use his neighbor's service without wages. Mm -hmm. If you're the type of person that every time you call somebody up, you're always asking them to do something for you. Mm -hmm. Do this, do this, do this. Mm -hmm. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people are not able to pay for your expensive trips. Every time you tell you ask somebody to take you somewhere in their car, they are wasting gas that mm -hmm. they could have used for something else. Mm -hmm. You are using your neighbor's service without wages and giving mm -hmm. him not for mm -hmm. his work. You're constantly asking somebody to take you somewhere, but you don't want to, um, um, how should I say it, no, give them no, a dollar or two. For some gas, <laughs> you know, something is wrong with that, you know, and it's some people, even if they say, well, no, thank you. It's okay. I don't mind doing it. You yeah. know, yeah. sometimes you need to give to them anyway. Sure. Oh, yeah. Buy them a meal then. If they don't want you to give them money, buy them a meal. Take them yeah. out for lunch or something like that mm -hmm. and pay for it for yourself. Yeah. You know, but you got individuals that do that. So. 
We need not to allow ourselves to hurt other people by doing these things. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ah, why did I say that? Mm -hmm. Whoa! I don't know where that came from, mm -hmm. but that was Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 13. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, let us go into the New Testament because I want to go and look at another type of a jealousy mm -hmm. as well. But I wanted to make sure that the people get an idea of their lifestyle. What type of a lifestyle do you have? Mm -hmm. Is your lifestyle righteous? And, and the man says you're building your house on unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. You use your neighbor. You don't give them anything for their services. You go around, um, can I borrow a cup of sugar? Can I borrow this? Can I borrow mm -hmm. that? Well, when you say that you're borrowing, that means that you are supposed to pay back, mm -hmm. okay? You've got a lot of people, Brother Doug, mm -hmm. that borrows and don't return. They don't return, yeah. I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just in case y'all didn't know that. <laughs> in Romans chapter 10. All right, oh, excuse me. Nose itch. In Romans chapter 10. Let's just let's just look at some of the scriptures that the Lord is dropping on my heart right now. We'll get to the jealousy part. All right. It says in verse 1 it says, "Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel or for you, mm -hmm. for me, for mm -hmm. all of us is that they might be saved." Is that they might be saved. Yeah. Is that beautiful? Mm -hmm. He's praying. Now, of course he's going to pray for Israel. You know, because that that was that was, as, as I was studying, those, yep. Israel is God's chosen people. <laughs> Abraham, you know, God's chosen, <laughs> chosen one. Isaac, the, the chosen one to bring forth the seed mm -hmm. that will become Israel, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Here, he's saying that y'all need to be saved. Yep. And then he yep. says this. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness mm -hmm. to everyone that believeth. You have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ in order to have your sins remitted or for your sins to yeah. be t washed away. Mm -hmm. Verse 9 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and, believe in and shall believe in thine heart that God, that God have God. what? Raised him from the dead. Yes, sir. Thou shalt be saved. Thou shalt be saved. Now, that's what the word says. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah, yeah. He says, for with the heart, man believeth unto righteousness, righteousness, and with, with the, the mouth, mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Unto salvation. Mm -hmm. There you go. Amen. All right. So then it says here, for and, and this is the thing that got me too. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all <laughs> that call upon him. So now, you bigoty uh, apostolics, you bigoty Pentecostals, mm -hmm. God also mm -hmm. loves us Baptists yeah. and us Methodists and us Catholics oh, and us yeah. Presbyterians mm -hmm. and even us Muslims. God loves us all. Mm -hmm. He died for us all mm -hmm. so that we all can come to him through repentance right. and accept yeah. him as our Lord and Savior. Oh, absolutely. Okay? So yeah. the, the, the salvation is for all of us now. Yeah. He's That's what he's saying. There is no difference now. <laughs> Verse 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. And then the thing of it is is that we need preachers and teachers of the gospel of Jesus Christ, not of the gospel of themselves, okay? We need preachers and teachers who is going to give us the word of God, mm -hmm. unbiased, Yeah. okay? I don't have, I, what's, what, uh, what's your opinion on, on that, Sister Brooks? What does the word say? Yeah. That's my opinion, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Because I can't change what he says, you can change it if you want to, but then it's to your own. There you go. There you go. Mm -hmm. So here in Romans chapter 10, I wanted to get to verse 19. Uh -huh. But I say, did not Israel know? First Moses said, I will provoke you to jealousy yeah. <laughs> by them that are no people. Not even a people. And by a foolish nation will I anger you. <laughs> See, what the Lord did 
Now, all of a sudden, mm -hmm. there's neither bond nor free, mm -hmm. Jew nor Gentile, barbarian or yeah. Cynthia. It doesn't matter who you are now. Mm -hmm. If you call on Jesus, mm -hmm. thoroughly repenting, sorrowful for the actions and the thoughts and the deeds mm -hmm. that you have done, mm -hmm. God will hear you and he will save you. Oh, yeah. Now, Sister Brooks, I pray a lot. I, I'm praying all the time. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I trust that the Lord is blessing you through your prayers. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a change in your behavior, mm -hmm. something is wrong with your prayers. Well, Something is wrong with that, that Holy Spirit that you mm -hmm. say you have. If you are still living a sinful life and you know what sin is, especially if you've ever heard any of my Bible studies uh -huh. because I, I was, I was, I, I would take you to Romans chapter one and break it down to you. You know, I've done it. You know, I've done it. So if you want to know what sin is, I invite you to go to Romans chapter one and you can start, you can read verses one through 32, but if you don't want to take the long route, then begin at verse 29 of Romans chapter 1 mm -hmm. and get your dictionary handy so that you can define what unrighteousness is, define what fornication and wickedness is, define what a backbiter is or a hater of God is, define what an inventor of evil things is. You can do, you can do that on your own, see? Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people don't want to change their lifestyle in order to live a holy life acceptable mm -hmm. unto the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. He says holy and acceptable unto the Lord and he calls it your reasonable, That's our reasonable. service. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. So if you were a liar or excuse me, if you are a liar mm -hmm. then the Lord is letting you know Ooh, in, 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 even in the book of Revelations mm -hmm. when they find that. He says uh, liars and um, oh what was that? Uh, which one was that? It was in the book of Revelations. Oh, I remember I saw yeah, it. But yeah. it says all liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. Re Revelations chapter 21. Yeah. Okay. Revelations chapter 21, verse 8. Uh -huh. He says here, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and uh -huh. whoremongers and sorcerers uh -huh. and idolaters and all liars mm -hmm. shall have their part in the lake, lake which fire. burn with mm -hmm. fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Uh -huh. Well, Sister Brooks, I don't know what that means. Okay, uh -huh. then, well, let's, let, let's break it down a little bit then. Okay? He says, but for the cowardly and unbelieving uh -huh. and abominable and murderers and immoral persons mm -hmm. and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars, Mm -hmm. Their part will be in the lake that oh, burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. That's NASB, uh -huh. okay? Mm -hmm. When you want to break it down again, let's go to the Amplified. Mm -hmm. He says, but as for the cowards and the ignoble and the contemptible uh -huh. and the cravenly lacking in courage and the cowardly submissive and as for the unbelieving and faithless, and mm -hmm. as for the depraved and defiled with abominations, <laughs> and as for murderers and the lewd and adulterous and <laughs> practitioners of magic arts and idolaters, those who give supreme devotion to anyone or anything other than God, uh -huh. and all liars, those who knowingly convey uh -huh. untruth by word of deed. Uh -huh. All of these shall have their part in the lake, lake that fire. blazes with fire and brimstone. <laughs> this is the second death. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's amplified. Okay. Yeah. So, uh -huh. Sister Brooks, I, I didn't know what, what, what um, sin is. I guess you got a little bit of it right there, right? <laughs> See, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then, even in that, it refers me to Isaiah 30 and 33. Let's let's let me oh, yeah. let me hit back there a yeah. little bit. Y'all know how I like to travel in the scriptures. Oh, I, if yeah. I'm if I'm gonna give you something, yeah. I'm gonna give you something that I'm enjoying as well. And God knows my feet is getting ready to start tapping because I'm feeling this thing right now. Huh. Because I mean, when you started uh, teaching what the word is 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 giving you, uh -huh. it's it first it has to cut through me, 
I have some issues myself, and God is dealing with me on that. Mm -hmm. So I can't sit here and act like, oh, you're perfect, Sister Brooks. No, Sister Brooks is not perfect. <laughs> Sister Brooks has sin as well. <laughs> as Brother Doug loves to tell me, if I tell you I don't sin, I am a liar, and the truth is not in me. Okay? So Brother Doug will let me know. Oh, that's, that's a lie. If you say you're perfect, you're lying. Mm -hmm. So strive unto perfection. <laughs> strive unto it. All right. So it says uh, in, in Isaiah chapter 30, verse 33, and this is a reference from verse 8 of Revelation 21. Uh -huh. He says, for Topheth, a place of burning and abomination, mm -hmm. has already been laid out and long ago prepared. Yep. Yes, for the Assyrian king and the god Molech, mm -hmm. it has been made ready. Its pyre made deep and large with fire and much wood. The breath of the Lord, like a stream of brimstone, uh -huh. kindles it. Now, what is it saying here? Mm -hmm. It's saying that, you know how, if, if you studied anything in the Old Testament, especially I think it's in mm -hmm. uh, First and Second mm -hmm. Kings, you will remember that the god Molech is a god that they mm -hmm. sacrifice humans yeah, to they, through yeah. the fire. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. So here it is saying that this Tophet, this is a place, this is a, like a, 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 a area where they will take the people to burn them. Anything that is abominable is saying. Uh -huh. Okay? So if it says that the king has prepared it and made it deep, and the pile is filled with much wood. That means they're planning on burning a lot of well, stuff. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They're mm -hmm. planning on burning a lot of stuff. So we, as the people of God, we've got to be very careful. Very mm -hmm. careful. Because mm -hmm. that second death is coming. And it's coming with fire. Okay? Oh, yeah. oh, All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. And so... I'm going back to Romans chapter 10 now because I was talking about that jealousy. Uh -huh. See, what God is, 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 is trying to do with this type of jealousy, this godly jealousy, mm -hmm. is to keep us from that second death. Mm -hmm. See, he wants mm -hmm. us to have life eternal with him. From him yeah. With him, mm -hmm. not going down that wide is the road uh, that leads us yeah. to destruction. Okay? Leads to destruction. See, yeah. that's not what he wants of us. He wants mm -hmm. us mm -hmm. to be the children that goes back with him, mm -hmm. that finds ourselves rejoicing yeah. in yeah. him. Mm -hmm. His Holy Spirit is within us, cleansing us, keeping mm -hmm. us from sin. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is what the Lord desires of us. Oh, yeah. Okay? Now, that was the yeah. reason why I went to Romans chapter 10 and mm -hmm. verse 19. Because I wanted you to know that, that God is going to provoke you to jealousy. Oh, yeah. Because he's going to show you somebody that is truly in, it has his spirit within them. Yeah. And, and, and yeah. they're living good. They might not be the richest person yeah. in the world. They could be very poor or very needy, but, but still <laughs> yeah, but happy. Yeah, Christ, yeah happy in the Lord because Absolutely. like you said they mm -hmm. have Christ yep. and, exactly. and another thing brother Doug that I understand too mm -hmm. is that if we continue to go around looking at what everybody else have <laughs> we will never be satisfied with what we have exactly exactly. even right. Paul talked about being content in whatever it is that he has whatever you have yeah. right mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. So in chapter 11 of Romans, and verse 11 says this, I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. Mm -hmm. But rather through their full salvation is coming to the Gentiles uh -huh. for to provoke them to jealousy. Right. right. You don't want the salvation that God has and the gift of the Holy Spirit that God has for you to be given to somebody else. <laughs> I want what God has for me, me. brother yeah. Doug. Yeah. You have what God has for you. Right. Right. Because I might not be able to handle the gift that God has given to you. Mm -hmm. I might not be able. I'm yeah. sorry. Go ahead. Right. Mm -hmm. God gives, mm -hmm. but he tries us. Okay. You know, he doesn't just give it to us mm -hmm. and say, there you go. 
when he tries us mm-hmm. because those things happen uh-huh. to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, God is testing right. and trying. Mm-hmm. You know, the trying of our faith is more precious than fine gold. All right. So how does God try us? Mm-hmm. We're saying, okay, Lord, I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Well, okay, he's going to find Are you really ready? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> and all of a sudden, where are you, Lord? All right. <laughs> so, so he teaches us, uh-huh. hey, don't tell me you're ready mm-hmm. when I know you're not. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's real good. That's but, but real good. He, he tests us. And that's the wonderful thing mm-hmm. about God. Mm-hmm. He doesn't condemn us in 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 the things that we're trying to do that would please him. Right. But he, he says, don't give up. And that's what happens so many times. Right. People are serving the Lord and, and they have that joy spurt. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, this is wonderful. And then the enemy kind of comes in. Well, how come he's not letting you do this? All right. And, that's that jealous spirit. You know, mm-hmm. We got the serpent coming in. Uh huh. And messing up with you. Mm-hmm. And so consequently, there's a lot of things that we, we have to learn. And and I know I'm a sinner. Mm-hmm. If I tell you I don't sin, I'm a liar and there's no truth in me. Okay. I've seen people that will try to walk a perfect life. Mm-hmm. Well, they're not perfect. They're just like me. They were born in sin. Every man, hum, human being on, that came to this earth was born in sin and, and shaped in iniquity. All right. Yes, sir. To be born holy uh-huh. would be wonderful. It would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Like being born with that gold or that silver spoon well, in your wouldn't mouth. Wouldn't that be wonderful? <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't happen. I mean, that silver spoon is right there, but I can't get it. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a sinner. Mm-hmm. If I tell you I don't sin, I'm a liar and there's no truth in me. And that's the reason why when we teach and treat, and when we teach the word of God, mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. are to allow the Holy Spirit to do the, the work. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. know, there are some good orators out there. There's some individuals that can inspire other people to greatness. They mm-hmm. are. And I mm-hmm. say, mm-hmm. do what you, what you, you know, gifted yeah. to do. Yeah. But don't take it as if it's all about you. You. Because exactly. trust me, it's not about Robin Brooks. <laughs> it's, it's not about me at all. <laughs> me You too. know, because uh-huh. I wake up some mornings and I don't even want to get out of my bed. <laughs> Talk about, oh my goodness, you want me to go to church? <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like going I don't to church. Feel like going I guess to I'd rather stay home. Let me watch my TV. <laughs> let me you read go a for book. Me. There you go. <laughs> And you got individuals that's like that. They give themselves all kinds of excuses why they can't do what it is that they need to do. Trust me, even though I don't want to come to church sometimes, Mm -hmm. I come. And I come and I say, God, bless this old nasty attitude that I have. Please, Lord, so that by my coming, I can receive something from you. Yeah, absolutely. God is not, he's not the type of person that he's going to say, oh, well, if you don't want to go, it's all right. I'll still bless you, my precious. You know, yeah, you still might be blessed, but you could have missed something delicious. You could have missed something very delicious, okay? Absolutely. All right. So now, if you don't, I pray that we are provoking you to grow into the spirit of God. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. there are some unbelievers out there or some back, black, excuse mm-hmm. me, some backslider, yeah. somebody that yeah. has turned their back on God because they were disillusioned by Reverend so and so, or brother so and so, or sister so and so. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, you, that's them. If if he hadn't only done this, I would have been all right. Yeah. So we lay the blame on somebody mm-hmm. else. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you can't. This, all the time, their will is to sin. There you go. There was, there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. Sure. Okay. So, if the Lord used the Gentiles or the heathens, as mm-hmm. some of the scripture says, mm-hmm. to provoke Israel to come to him, <laughs> what is it that we can do that will provoke you <laughs> to jealousy so that you will come in? Come into the Lord. Yes. That's right. Come to the Lord. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm-hmm. Are, are there going to be people who are going to be sick? Yes. Mm-hmm. Are there going to be people who are going to die? Trust yeah. me, all of us are going to die. <laughs> yeah. Okay? 
Are there going to be people who has a, a nice amount of money? Yes. Uh -huh. Are there going to be people who barely scrapes by every month? Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it is what you do with what you have yeah. for yeah. God yeah. that is going to please the That's Lord. That's going to count. Okay? Mm -hmm. Remember I talked to you about Saul and how that he just he did not obey the Lord. He brought yeah. back Agag and, and, right. some, and some choice uh -huh. things. Mm -hmm. And the Lord took the kingdom away from him. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You don't want the Lord to say, you know, because of your disobedience, uh, you're you're no longer mine. I turn you over to a reprobated mind. No, don't. That you don't want. No. Okay. No. no. All right. Mm -hmm. So, I wrote down here <clears throat> in this: Israel was leading their own lives in complete ignorance of mm -hmm. God's righteousness mm -hmm. and who Christ truly mm -hmm. was to them. Mm -hmm. We sometimes do the same thing. We live oh. our lives in ignorance as oh. to who God truly is for us. Uh -huh. Why? Because, and, and, and I was like that, Brother Doug. Mm -hmm. I used to think, oh, those are the pretty people. Those are the, those are the talented people. Those oh. are the better people yeah. than I am. We are better than I used people. to do that. Mm -hmm. And now, and I used to be like very, I won't say worshipful, but I kind of, Ooh, those are my idols. Ooh, they, they are the they are <laughs> yeah. the, the truly blessed. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I am the truly blessed too. <laughs> yeah. Because when I, all of us, uh -huh. when we wake up every morning, when we wake up, uh -huh. we are truly blessed. Absolutely. We have another chance to grow closer to God. <laughs> exactly. To grow closer. Yeah. And so when I used to look at those individuals and think mm -hmm. that they were spiritually better than me, mm -hmm. I was cutting my own neck with mm -hmm. my own knife. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Like the old people say, cutting your nose off to despite your face. Yeah. Well, it's okay? like, uh -huh. God loves that person more than That's you. That's right. Right. There you so go. I guess I'm just going to be what I am. Right. And you, you get discouraged. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a nonsense thing. Because Christ doesn't say, oh, well, you're better than so-and-so. No. He looks at each one of us. Uh -huh. And he, he deals with each one of us individually. Not right. Just, uh, he doesn't say, get your group. We're going to sit here and I'm going to deal. I'm going to tell all okay. of you these things. Uh -huh. He doesn't do that. Because he knows our hearts before we do. He knew we were what was going to happen before. Uh -huh. He said, let there be. All right. There you go. If we only understood that. Because God doesn't just work on what he sees. It's what he knows. <laughs> and he also, and what he knows about us. Are we going to be good stewards of what he has given, he us? given us? And that's right. That's you, right. I might have gotten 10 talents. He uh -huh. might have gotten, five, what is it, 10? Yeah. Was it 10, 3, yeah, and 10 1? Talent, yeah. And then the other one gets one. And, and use that, that's right. Use that one talent. Yeah. Whatever that one talent is, use it. Oh, Lord, I tell you, my feet are moving because I'm feeling this thing. The thing of it is, mm -hmm. Brother Doug, mm -hmm. is that we don't have to be jealous of one another in the house of the Lord. There That's are right. so many jobs that can be done. Mm -hmm. And trust me, as, as being a teacher, I might not be able to reach the people that you can reach, mm -hmm. but the ones right. that I can reach, let me reach them. The ones that you can reach, you reach them. Yeah. But live a good life as you're reaching them. Yeah. Don't be a hypocrite. Right, exactly. All right? Yeah. Don't be jealous of somebody else's whatever. Exactly. Build up what you have. Yeah, and, and they also, also, you know, encourage people. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because that's 90% of the problem with Christians. They don't encourage one another. There you go. When they're down, oh, well, yeah, I understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let them go at that. Right. Instead of encouraging uh, them. Uh, there you go. If I quit, uh -huh. it's because I'm discouraged. Okay. And All I'm right. I'm discouraged, but I don't want anybody else to know about it. Why not? Because they already you? see it. Uh -huh. That's uh -huh. exactly it. They already know yes. that something's going on. Uh -huh. Can there something I can do to help? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, no, I don't have any problems. I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> the thing of it is, is so, that we better, we better go ahead on and do yeah. What God has yeah. for us to do. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm, I'm going to go to a scripture here. As you were talking, mm -hmm. and as I was looking at this thing, mm -hmm. uh, yes, there you go. In mm -hmm. 1 Timothy, 
Because mm -hmm. I'm finished now with Reverend Le uh, Romans eleven eleven. <laughs> in First Timothy, this yeah. is this is this is a reminder to you and to me. Yeah. In First Timothy, um, okay, verse six. First Timothy chapter one verse six. Mm -hmm. Wherefore I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God which is in, in thee, you. Mm -hmm. by the putting on of my hands. Mm -hmm. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, power and of love, love and, and of a, a sound, sound mind. mind. Yeah. You yeah. don't have a sound mind if you're jealous, Brother Doug. I know. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have a sound mind if you're a liar or a thief <laughs> or a murderer. No. Or a backbiter. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a sound mind. A gambling, <clears throat> rambling, backslider. There you go. <laughs> Chewing and spitting and drinking too. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the thing of it is, is that God gives us all uh -huh. a measure of faith. Of faith. Yeah. Yeah. So with that faith that we have, mm -hmm. I, I think the scripture says, for without faith, it's it is impossible, impossible to please God. To please God. Mm -hmm. Here... Timothy is being reminded. Uh -huh. Your your mother Eunice, yeah, and your yeah. grandmother Lois. Oh, Lois, yep. They taught you. Oh, yeah. That's just like my yeah. foster mother Alma Shivers uh -huh. and all the mothers in South Carolina. Uh -huh. They taught us. Yeah. They taught us how to to do better than what we were doing spiritually. Uh -huh. They gave us a, a mind to yeah. go to church. Yeah. You know, to worship God. Yeah. In other words, be better than what I am. Yeah. Excel. Get yeah. your education. Yeah. Learn of God. Yeah. Um, Sister Ruby uh, Jamison Wright. Yeah. She had this particular scripture that I used to think, oh, she's showing off. She's showing off. But she wasn't showing off. Yeah. She was en encouraging us to get that wisdom. Yeah. She was encouraging us to get it. Why? Yeah. Because without the wisdom of God, we're not going to have anything. Right. We must be wise as yeah. serpents. Yeah. We are harmless as doves, according to what the scripture says. But <laughs> yeah. you got to have a little something in your noodle uh -huh. in order to, to please the Lord. Yeah. The yeah. Lord wants us, and, 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 I, and I wrote this in my Bible uh -huh. here, to remind myself. And yeah. this is in the fourth book of Proverbs. And I wrote down Sister Ruby May, because that's what we, I used to call uh -huh. her when I was in South Carolina. Because uh -huh. this is how she encouraged us. Uh -huh. In Proverbs chapter 4, Sister Ruby would always quote this at, at, at good times. Uh -huh. She says, verse 7 and 8, Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. understanding. Yeah. And I thought that she was showing off because she was uh -huh. more educated than the rest of us. Uh -huh. No, that's not what uh -huh. she was. She was saying, get in the book here, y'all. <laughs> Understand what God uh -huh. is telling you. Yeah, quit your whining and bawling. There you Look go. At it and God will speak to Come you. Come on. Yeah. And, and, and this is, and, and verse 8 tells yeah. you the reason why you need to get this wisdom and understand. Yeah. Yeah. It says, exalt her. And she shall promote thee. Uh -huh. In order for you to, to rise above certain things uh -huh. in your life, yeah. you've got to exalt that wisdom and that understanding. Absolutely. You've got to get it in here uh -huh. so that it'll get in here uh -huh. so when you speak, the, yeah. you will speak wisdom. Yeah. You will, oh, Lord. I know. And it says, she shall bring thee to honor when thou doth embrace her. <laughs> Wisdom is a beautiful thing to uh -huh. have. Mm -hmm. Eunice and Lois mm -hmm. instructed young Timothy mm -hmm. in the ways of God. Uh -huh. And Paul mm -hmm. says, wherefore I put thee in remembrance. Mm -hmm. Since I remembered my foster mother, Alma Shivers, mm -hmm. it reminded me of how she used to, there was this song she was saying, and she says, um, I can see that light. Ain't that a blessing? Uh-huh. I can clap my hands. Ain't that a blessing from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can clap for joy. Ain't that a blessing? Mm -hmm. Ain't that a blessing? Ain't that a blessing from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Didn't understand it. Understand it now. Uh -huh. Arthritis, get in your hands. You can't clap very yeah. much, can you? Yeah. 
Cataracts blind your eyes. Oh, you can't yeah. see very well, can you? Uh -huh. Sometimes you get crippled in your hips and in your joints and your legs and your yeah. knees. You can't get up. You can't you can't move like you used to move. Glory be to God. But she said, but with, with this what I do have, ain't that a blessing from the Lord? It is stirring up in me a joy today. Yeah. yeah. And that the gift that God has given me uh -huh. was the gift when I repented of my sins, mm -hmm. as I repent daily. Okay, mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. of y'all don't. I'm not gonna bother with y'all. Some <laughs> some some people don't believe that they need to repent. Some people don't believe mm -hmm. that they need to tell God they're sorry. No. Trust me, I learned how to say I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I have. But What's the your gift, day of my day of salvation. Okay. Uh huh. One day at a time. Exactly. Yeah. And that's just the reason why when we are encouraging one another in, in mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. we need to encourage them. Though you may fall, and yeah. you may fall every day yeah. for 20 years, yeah. Yeah. get up. Don't stay down there. Yeah. Repent. Dust yeah. yourself yeah. off. Say, man, yeah. the devil, he, he clapped me that time, and I went down. Yeah. But I had to get up. I said, oh, no, buddy. I'm getting back up. <laughs> because the fight only ends if yeah. you wallow. Yeah. You lay there and wallow yeah. and say, I give up. I give if you're going to give up, give up to God, uh -huh. right? Give yeah. up to God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go. Yeah. I, 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 I enjoyed this, y'all. I, I enjoyed this. <laughs> I wrote down here, we are reminded that there is no difference between the Jews and the non-Jews. <laughs> All we need to do is to call upon the name of the Lord and we shall be saved. And y'all yeah. remember, yeah. I, I, we gave you those yeah. scriptures there. Yeah. And then I said, because of this, our faith must be cultivated. Yeah. How are we going to, you know, and I asked myself, what is needed in order to cultivate our faith? <laughs> remember the scripture. Now faith <laughs> is the substance of things hoped for. And the evidence of things not seen. There you go. <laughs> How do we get that faith in the Lord? Yeah. And trust me, faith without works is dead. Oh my goodness, Brother Doug, it's already been an hour. Oh. But faith without works it's is dead. dead. Yeah. So if you're going to be the type of individual that you say that I am going to work and I'm not going to worry about what the Lord is asking me to do. I'm just going to do this work because this is what I do. Trust me, mm -hmm. salvation is is a lifestyle to be lived daily uh -huh. yeah. with a clean and a conscious mind, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. yeah. You got to want to do this thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay? You've got to want to do it. Well, you have to, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I wrote down here, hearing the word of God preached and taught by preachers and teachers. That, that's mm -hmm. how we get our faith cultivated. Mm -hmm. We must hear the word of God for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then I told myself to go to Isaiah chapter 52. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to remind you of what Isaiah mm -hmm. chapter 52 says, and then we're going to uh, call it uh, yeah. a day because yeah. uh, we've been here, and, and I've been enjoying I, I've been, I'm, I must admit, I'm enjoying this thing. Yeah. Okay? Okay. Those that are preachers and teachers, they have a particular scripture here in Isaiah oh, yeah. chapter yeah. 52. Yeah. In verse 7, it says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good, good tidings, uh -huh. that publish peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, uh -huh. that publish salvation, yeah. that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. If you're going to be a teacher or a preacher, mm -hmm. an apostle, a deacon, a doctor, a lawyer, whatever it is in yeah. God, yeah. make sure that you are an anointed and a dedicated mm -hmm. watchman. Oh yeah. Because what you're being is a watchman for the souls of the people that listen to you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Um Verse 8 says, Thy watchmen shall lift up the voice. With the voice together shall they sing. Mm -hmm. For they shall see eye to eye when the Lord shall bring again Zion. Mm -hmm. But there's another scripture that deals with us watchmen that's on the wall. That if we are watching 
and we see the enemy approaching, mm -hmm. and if we don't sound the alarm and let the people know that the enemy is coming, mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. going to be held accountable for the blood that oh, is yeah. shed. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. If you're the type of individual mm -hmm. that you just want to be seen <laughs> and heard and then and, 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 and praised, mm -hmm. okay? And pat it on the back oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. If that's the type of person that you are and you want and you want all of that, oh, yeah. to, you know, people to say, oh, you are so wonderful. Oh, what you oh, do yeah, is so totally great. Yeah. If that's what you want, call me up and I'll do that for you. <laughs> and trust me, I'm going to get some anointing oil on my hand and I'm going to be praying for you because I want you to be true to what God is telling you to do. Mm-hmm. God is not going to share his glory with you or me no. or anybody else. Mm -mm. Okay? God is not going to share his glory. And if mm -hmm. you are teaching just to get somebody to pat you on your back, <laughs> trust me. I break my hand all the way. There you go. Pat your own self on the back. <laughs> Teach the word of God. Mm -hmm. The Bible says be instant in season and out, out of season. season. Okay. Rebuke, rebuke, correct with all long suffering. All long suffering. <laughs> and if you're the type of person that you start something and you don't finish it, mm -hmm. God is going to hold you hold you accountable. For sure. Okay. God is going to hold mm -hmm. you accountable. Mm -hmm. Now, brother Doug, I believe that we should um, close down. Got, got a whole lot. I, I got some yeah. other stuff in here yeah. too. I'll show y'all. And this was another page of uh -huh. stuff that I. <laughs> I wanted to talk about as well. Yeah. But I wanted to remind the people that jealousy is not good at all. Trust me. No. And it doesn't uplift the kingdom of God. Yeah. There's, so, Like I said, there's so many jobs in the kingdom of God, in the house of God. Mm -hmm. So many. Mm -hmm. Not everybody's going to be the lead dog. But trust me, there's somebody going to be ahead of you every time. Oh yeah. There's going to be somebody that's smarter than you, uh, can sing better than you, could preach better than you, can teach better than you. Can, I can do a lot of can clean the house, you know, the house of God better than you. Yeah. There's so many people that is able to do these things. And what it is for us mm -hmm. is that whatever gift God gives us, let us be the best at what mm -hmm. God has given us. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So um, we're going to end right now. But Brother Doug, do you have another song that you want to end, end us with? No, oh, boy, I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm going to hold off here for a little bit because I know sometimes you give me a song. Oh, I know it. I uh, know it. Wow. I don't. Let me see. Okay. Probably done this. Okay. Well, we're going to end now. And I thank and praise the Lord for all of us being here today. And I pray that the Lord has given you something from the lesson today that will help you to live a good life, okay, a better life, you yeah. know, encouraging others to come to Jesus. Oh, you can take that one. Come well, to Jesus. <laughs> no, if you're traveling down Sims Highway. Uh-huh, all right. Uh, that's the same one. Okay. You want me to do it? Yes, please. We're going to end with <coughs> Brother Doug singing for us, y'all. All right. All righty. I was traveling down Sands Highway when I met the Christ of Calvary. Go ahead, Brother Doug. I was bound with despair, and the Lord found me there, and he showed me of a better way. I believed him I had nothing to lose, so I had nothing to lose. So the Lord had me choose. I am so glad for what happened that day. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Doug. Now my sins were so many, he just took them away. And the burden I carried, he lightened that day. Oh, look, take a look at just happened to me. Well, oh, look, he just happened to me. I am a new creation. I'm a soul set free. And the man I was, you no longer see. Take a look. Take a look. what's happened, happened to me. me. It's a new life I'm living every day. God has given more reasons why I should follow him. Go ahead, Brother Doug. For time after time, he has showed to me what it means to be saved from sin. Hallelujah. I'm so glad that I opened up my heart to him. And I asked him to come into my heart. 
Now it's a new life I'm living since he saved me from sin. And I've been so happy since I let him come in. Oh, look, take a look at what's happened to me. Now look, it really happened to me. I'm a new creation. I'm a soul set free. And the man I was knew no longer see. Take a look. Take a look at what's what happened to me. me. Yeah, look. Take a look at what happened, happened to me. The best part. Mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. It mm -hmm. can happen to me. Pow! Come here, Brother Doug. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Right. I am right. enjoying myself here with Brother Doug. Huh? And I thank the Lord for you all being here today. So mm -hmm. give me a shout out every now and then and, mm -hmm. and um, let me know how if the. Bible studies are being a blessing to you as well. So, Sister Brooks out. Peace to each and every one of you. God bless.